Hi there, my name's Chad Volcano Cloud. Nice to meet you. It may not seem like there's a lot of hope alive for a nice camera to be released this year. What is it, 2024? Confirmed. You'd be mistaken. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Sony a7S III Zeiss. 55 mil, Tony 1.8, mixed lighting sources like you wouldn't believe, incandescent bulbs that way, a 55 Kelvin cool light this way, and window light somewhere in the middle, auto white balance. Good luck with that one, Sony. Blue light in the back, teal and orange over here. I've been complaining a lot about Sony lately. I've made some tweaks to the S Cinetone profile. I just, I upped the saturation, made some tweaks, a little black leveled down, reds down almost all the way. That's better. I'm more pleased now. And plus the juice fast healing. I feel like I'm healthy enough to deserve a Sony camera. I think I still prefer the Fuji and we'll switch to it at some point for no ass reason. But let's talk about the future of each company, what they got on the horizon. Is there anything to look forward to? I think there is. Not necessarily in Sony's universe. Lens wise, we've got a bunch of stuff lately. Sigma making terrible glass. That 35mm 1.4 looks like it still has the adapter on it. The fake ass like, oh, this is for mirrorless. We, we, we're not hiding a DSLR. It still looks like the adapter's on there. It's too big. It's too stupid. Get the 1.8 and call it a day. Voigtlander 1.2 actually. I might switch to that soon. Oh, wow. As a Sony user, we're kind of spoiled with the E-mount because it's an open mount system. So any company can make lenses for this system. And it's like the boggling mind choices are just like which each focal length has like 15 viable choices. Viltrox, Zeiss. I almost pounced on this Zeiss Baddest 25 mil Tony II. I saw it, I was looking, I was like, can we find a deal? It's like 1500 Canadian. And I was like, can we do cheaper than that? On B and H, it was like 1100 used. I was like, hmm, can we do better? We could. An EB, EB, oh, shoot me. Just, no, don't. I saw it on eBay for 950. It had a scratch on the lens, but he was like, it won't show up in the picture though. It looked like it was off. It's like a tiny circle and it was out here. I was like, okay. And then I was seeing the bid was going down and someone pounced and upped it. And I was like, you have it. The one exciting thing for Sony, we might finally get the A7000 high end APS-C, the one the A6600 pretended to be that failed miserably. I had nothing for anybody. This thing, imagine bigger body, but like better IBIS, active stab in there. What could they even do? Who cares? APS-C, although Tamron, just released that wide zoom. It's kind of similar to the, it's, I think it might be better than the 17 to 28. It's like a 16 and a half to 30. 2.8, a quiv, 24.2, but it's lighter. There's your vlogging lens. That could be fun. Sony APS-C isn't that exciting for me because Fuji is APS-C. Sony, you're full frame. You pretend to have one mount one encompassing mount and APS. You don't. You don't really have anything there for me or anybody. Honestly, with the Sony A7S III, you're not gonna need to upgrade for another 15 years minimum. Like we're done with excitement. It's just lenses now. Like maybe we can, there's nothing we can look forward to. We got that, you got the 20 mil. What else could you need? Nothing. Oh, hi. That's not the boom pole for the mic. It's, it's part of the set. It's part of the decoration. I wouldn't be lazy enough to not move the mic. When you change focal lengths, you move the mic. I did. Voidy Lander 35 mil, Tony 1.2, just to make fun of the Sigma 1.4 that was just released. Dreaming that it could live up to these standards, but it couldn't. When it comes to Canon, not much. We got the R5C, just to debunk their other cameras. It might be okay, but still I imagine hard to edit files unless you switch your entire life over to Apple brainwash sheepland, where you're just like, okay, should I eat chocolate and brownies mixed with cereal for breakfast? Healthy, okay. They got the R3, which is like too professional. I don't pay attention to super high-end or super budget stuff. It just doesn't excite me. So it's like, 
there's not much on the radar. We're hoping for like a Canon EOS R2. Hobo YouTube standardized. Canon's so weird with their full frame mirrorless, the giant leaps of money. Like the RP is like a thousand Canadian. Then the R is like 2300. And then like the R6, $3,500. And then the R5 is like 5,900. <laughs> it's like these giant leaps for basically you do a side by side with the R5 and the RP. A lot of people aren't even gonna see it. It's like very similar. There's there's differences. You do the 8K, yeah, okay. Yeah, your mom's 8K. And they just released a bunch of telephoto glass that was clearly just EF glass with an adapter on it. They just borrowed Sigma's boardroom meetings. They weren't even good meetings. All right, fellows, it's time to get in on this telephoto game. The Olympics are coming up. I hear vaccinated people are allowed to show up. Nothing fishy about that. So we should have some lenses to do sports with. Any ideas? Yeah, we can whip something up real quick. Um, we, we've been working on a telephoto. Get the adapter. Steve, bring the adapter. Designed for mirrorless. That looks like our EF lens. You you didn't just duct tape an adapter to... Where's my duct tape? Steve, is that where it went? What? Boss, we would never do that. You could see the seams, Kane. No, oh, that's on me. That's how we thought we had you. Still, we can sell these. Maximum profit. So there's not a lot on the horizon for Canon. You know they still don't have a vlogging lens, like an actual something light enough. They only have the 15 to 35. They don't even have a 24 mil prime. Give me a 24 mil 24 prime. Anything. They have nothing. Still, I wouldn't mind having a Canon camera in here. I just, I never see a deal good enough to be like, you know what? I saw an M50 for 650. I was like, hmm, Sigma, 30 mil, 1.4, let's just, no. It's not pounce worthy. And their full frame is just bullshit. The R, I haven't seen a used R. If I saw one for 1,400, minus tax, you pay me the tax, you might have something. Now, when it comes to Fuji, there's not a lot coming. The 18 mil, I messaged Fuji Canada. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I, we don't have an 18 mil lens. I have been blacklisted. Even though I went all in on, I praise Fuji, like nobody else. And I've been shuntered to the gutter, shuntered. And it hurts, that's the worst way to be carried to a gutter. They're coming out with a 33 mil 1.4, that could be exciting. I already have the Viltrox 33 at it, but it'll be slightly better. Usually the Fuji glass has better color. Worse autofocus, but better color. And you deal with it, it's good enough. I've never tried tracking it. We'll try it one day. I imagine if you're walking back and forth like you're some kind of reporter. Oh, here we are at a stall. There's a kid drinking out of the fountain. Oh, that's tap water. It'll get you. They're coming out with a Mark II to this lens. You piece of shit. I just pounced. Now we're going to have a one with quiet motors. It is loud. It's pretty. It's jarring. But, oh, man. It better not be better. At least I'll have my manual focus clutch, which does nothing really. It's still a linear mo- I didn't know that. What a bullshit mechanism. It's like, oh, I thought it was like this perfect. My life's a lie. What I'm most excited for is the Viltrox 13 mil 1.4 that was rumored like a year and a half ago. They might have abandoned that. I hope not. That thing sounded so magical. If it's light. That'd be a 19.5 mil Tony 2.1-ish. Still worse than the Sony 20 mil 1.8, but still it would have Fuji magic outside and we deserve that. And then the X-H2, I think that's gonna be photography based. I don't think they're, or it's gonna be this 8K machine that nobody. I wish I could just walk into Fuji and say, I could make this eight megapixel sensor, the best 4K highest dynamic range ever. 4K 240p, 1080p at 960p. Instead, we're gonna get an X-T300 with an even bigger screen and worse specs. It's hard to be alive. 
when it comes to Olympus. When it comes to Olympus, they've made some strange decisions since going out of business and selling their company to a sushi manufacturer. They've released an audio recorder that nobody needs. They have a 200 mil equivalent macro. How you, it's too far away. You can't even see the insect from that far. You go, oh, I'll get the, ma oh, I can't see it. Let me get closer. Okay, there he is. And then you, oh, uh, Cliff. Good luck using macro in heaven. Hell, where you belong. Rumor has it they're coming out with a camera soon, but somebody said like, oh, it's probably a tough camera. One of those toughs, those are, it's a point and shoot with the tiniest sensor. Smartphones 10 years ago were better. What, oh yeah, I can throw it. Who cares? How tough are you on your cameras? I can step on it, mom. Give it to your kid. I hope that kid makes fun of you with it. Is being in plus one EV a mistake? That was for log. I can't change it during video. Well, thanks Olympus. I, I wasn't trying to. I didn't want, who would want to do that? Not me. I can't even change it. I turned it off and tried. I have no other help. We're at 25th of a shutter too. Holy shit. So Olympus, I don't know. I'm hoping. It's like my favorite vlogging camera. Best colors, best stabe, reliable autofocus. You couldn't get better. It's just the features and usability suck really bad at times. Fantastic, look at us. Best image, no tonne, that hurts. Panasonic's probably gonna release the GH6, 6K 60P, 10-bit raw, something like that. Contrast detect. It's my least favorite camera. I have zero desire to shoot with it. Like there's nothing it can do. If I want the Sony, it's like the full frame best autofocus, like the best image quality, colors, sometimes it's good, not usually in my hands. Then the Fuji is like, if I want a little more cinematic, more personal touch, you go with the Fuji, a little magic in there. Olympus, it's like, okay, tiny, outside, best stabe, best colors. What, what are you? You're heavier, you're almost as heavy as the full frame, worse colors. People were complimenting me on the colors yeah, because I changed them to airy colors. They, those weren't Panasonic. You haven't seen Panasonic colors on this channel in over a year. I've been switching them. It's like, why? The worst autofocus? Nikon's just trying to stay alive. I don't know that they're working on anything right now. The Z9, like, no one cares for the Olympics. So while it is fun to focus on what's coming, it's not important. You don't need it. You have something as good as you'll ever need, pretty much. My worst camera I could get by with. Panasonic G9, that's it. I could run this whole, oh God, that, oh. I suck at my job, I don't deserve better gear. We see it, I just hit it. Not that that's a microphone stand in the shot. I told you I moved it. There's no, that was nothing. So I'm gonna leave. What are you looking forward to? Post it down below and I'll delete your comment after you buy it. Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos. Which camera looked the best? No one cares.